Hi everybody, it's Sarah from the Austin Humane Society again. Thanks for joining us um, for your next session for your dog care certificate. And today we're going to talk a little bit about toys for dogs, um, the kind of toys we have here at the shelter and the importance of making sure you provide your dog with toys. So here at the Austin Humane Society, because we have a lot of different kinds of dogs, different sizes, different breeds, different ages, we have a lot of kinds of dog toys. So you can see over here we have all of our toys. We do try to keep them organized into different types. So we have our stuffed toys. We have a whole giant bin of tennis balls. These are harder, like rubber chew toys. We have a whole bin of rope toys because a lot of dogs really like to play tug of war with ropes. Um, these are more soft toys and more hard toys. So like I said, we have a lot of different things. Um, we, you know, we try to get a lot of different cute little things. Dogs really like toys that have squeakers in them. Like so, like this guy. Um, yeah, this is good because you can kind of play like tug of war with it. Um, so, you know, with different dogs, we don't really know what they like when they come to the shelter. So what we try to do in their kennels is give them like one of each thing. So each dog might get a ball, a rope toy, a hard chew toy, and a plush toy. And then while they're here and we kind of get to know them, we'll learn what they really like. Um, if they're like, oh, this dog loves balls, we'll give them a whole bunch of tennis balls or we'll figure out if they like to play fetch, anything like that. Um, you know, some dogs, as I'm sure you guys have seen maybe with your dogs, if you give them stuffed toys like this, they're going to take them and they're just going to rip them apart and pull out all of the stuffing and rip the whole toy apart. And that's okay, you know, if that's what your dog really likes to do, you can give them a soft toy just as a treat. That's what I do with my dog. I know if I bring home something like this, he's going to just tear it up instantly. Um, but I let him do it because he likes it. So we're careful with that at the shelter because if the dogs tear up all of the stuff in their kennels, it can cause issues with the drains and all of that. So those are kind of a more special treat. But these are all toys that have been donated to us um, and we really appreciate that. The dogs enjoy playing with them. It gives them something to do in their kennel. It helps relieve their stress. And for your dog at home, having toys is super important. Um, if they, especially if you have a really high energy dog and they're, you know, running around and they're always jumping and stuff like that, having toys to distract them with, playing fetch with your dog, playing tug, giving them a chew toy, um, all of those things can really help alleviate boredom, anxiety, all of those things. So we're going to grab a couple of toys and we're going to go take one of our dogs out and show you Lavender having fun playing with her toys. We're, we're videoing. I'm Allie, and today I'm going to show you how to make two dog toys. First, I'm going to make a crackle dog toy. The supplies you're going to need are long tube socks, an empty water bottle, and you might need some scissors. First, I'm going to take my empty water bottle and I'm going to get all the air Next, I'm going to get my long tube sock and I'm going to kind of stretch it out a little bit to make sure it's a little easier to put the water bottle in. Now, you might need someone to help you with this, but stretch open the sock and you put in the water bottle. That's why you need it to be kind of crumpled up together so that it doesn't, it's not hard for it to go in. And now you're gonna leave some, a little extra room and you're gonna tie a knot. Now you have a fun toy for your dog to chew on and to make some fun noises. I'm going to teach you how to make a tennis ball fetch toy. So what you'll need is a shirt or any other kind of fabric, a tennis ball of course, a pen or a pencil, 
um, one or two rubber bands, and some fabric scissors. I placed the tennis ball on the shirt and with my marker, I'm tracing out a circle about six inches away from the tennis ball. Now I'm gonna cut it out. Notice that I have two layers so that the ball is protected by the fabric for longer. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place the tennis ball in the middle and I'm gonna cut strips inwards about four, about four inches long. And we need each strip to be about an inch or two wide. And we're gonna end up braiding and knotting these at the end. Now you get all of the strips and you kind of wrap it over the tennis ball. Now I'm taking a rubber band and I'm tying it around. Now you could leave it like this, or you could braid them, or you can tie them in knots. And this is our finished tennis ball fetch toy. I like this better than a regular dog toy because after the dog had it in their mouth, it has a ton of slobber on it and you don't have to get on your hands. Make sure you supervise your dogs while they play with these toys because so they won't chew it up and swallow something they shouldn't. I hope you had fun making these dog toys. Now go have fun and play with your dog. Scissors, needle, and thread. Step one is to cut the t-shirts into small strips of t-shirt stuff. Once you reach the end of a strip, tie that strip onto the next strip. making a circle. Then you flip it over and start sewing it.
might be tricky, but the pet is just gonna think it's amazing. That's a frisbee for a rug. At nap bee time or play time. Now your frisbee's on, all done.